Hello YouTube, it's good to see you. In this project, we combine whipped paraffin wax with candle gel to create a stunning beer candle that looks just like the real thing, complete with bubbles and froth. So in terms of equipment, you'll need a beer glass, the original one if at all possible, some candle gel and some paraffin wax. Other than that, you will use a double boiler to melt the paraffin wax. An old fork to beat the paraffin wax. A stirring stick to mix the liquid dye and the candle gel. A probe thermometer for the paraffin wax. And also a candy thermometer that will stay in the gel during the whole melting process. It's very practical because it's got a clip on the back to secure it firmly to the pan. I'm reproducing a cherry flavored beer, so I'm using red liquid dye. You also need a gel wick, in this case a helix wick, and a wick holder to keep the wick straight and centered. I would normally use straight paraffin wax, but in this case I have two votive candles left from a previous project, so I'll use these, waste not, want not, so I'll just put the paraffin wax aside. You'll need a small pan to melt the candle gel, and the gel itself already cut into small pieces so that it melts faster. And the last thing is a glue dot to secure the wick at the bottom of the glass. That's it. We're not using the double boiler right now since we started the candle gel. So I put this aside and we can put the gel in the pan right away. That's all we need. Now let's secure the thermometer. Okay, that won't go anywhere. So let's start melting the candle gel. And while the gel is melting, install the wick inside the glass. You're going to apply the glue dots to the wick tap on one side. and the other sticky side goes at the bottom of the beer glass. So use the thermometer or a needle to guide it. That center. Okay, now a little pressure all around to make sure the glue dot is well attached. Perfect. Now, Use the wick holder to make sure the wick stays centered and upright during the whole pouring process. Just like that. Now be careful when you melt candle gel and always do it on a low heat because its temperature will rise from 160 to over 250 in less than two minutes. You must know that anything about 270 degrees means danger because the gel can catch fire. So keep the heat low, leave a thermometer in the pan all the time and be sure to keep an attentive eye on it. Now the gel is melted completely. Its temperature is around 250 and it's time to add the red liquid dye. I want my candle to be bright red, so I'm not going to be thrifty on the dye. And mix it well with the stirring stick. The color is still a little light to my taste, so let's just add more dye and mix 
thoroughly again. Right, I reckon the color is exactly what it should be now. So you can remove the pan from the heat plate, put it aside and let the temperature of the gel decrease until it reaches somewhere between 185 and 200 degrees. And meanwhile, we can start melting the paraffin wax in the double boiler. The candle gel has now reached a temperature of 185, which is a good pouring temperature if you're not too concerned with air bubbles in the gel. But after all, we're making a beer, so actually it's a good thing. Fill the glass with gel up to the upper half of the logo. Right, let's try not to uh, get being a bit clumsy here, but you can very easily peel off gel when it's cold. So as soon as the gel is cooled off, we can remove the wick holder and rid it of any spills. And same goes for the wick and the glass. When done, just put the wick holder back for the next steps. So the paraffin wax is ready. We'll now give it a very light red color, but only a very, very light one. So that's less than one drop of liquid dye. And to do that, I'm going to use my stirring stick to add what amounts to half a drop of red dye to the wax. Beer foam, as you probably know, always kind of reflects the color of the beer itself. So if I make the foam pure white, it's not going to look entirely okay. And also, let's not forget that the color of paraffin gets lighter when it cools off. Okay, you can now remove the melting pot from the double boiler and put it aside to cool off until the wax turns cloudy and a surface film appears on the wax, which is a sure sign that it's about to turn solid again. And here you go. As you can see, the paraffin is cloudy and a white ring appears where it touches the melting pot. So now is the perfect moment to start beating it. And you beat paraffin wax just like you would beat egg whites. An old fork, some elbow grease. It goes surprisingly fast. In less than one minute, you have a foam that looks exactly like beer froth. So now I'll just try and not make a mess here. There, perfect. And now let's pour it on top of the gel. Okay, I just realized I forgot to remove the wick holder. And when you pour paraffin foam, Always try and do it in one go because it will turn solid in no time at all. Okay, that's done. The last thing to do is correct any spill on the glass and let the whole candle cool off and harden. And your beer candle is complete. Isn't it stunning? Well, let me thank you for your attention. Have fun crafting 
and I will see you soon for another candle making project. Bye!